of the cat in from too high, right? And this is very typical. Uh, so they'll bring the cat in here. And what happens is it's harder to get the cat to sit in our lap if they're coming across too high. Um, instead, what you want to do is have this churu like come in right here. So bring the cat all the way around right to this low hip point, literally your hip bone, right? Go here. And then see how I'm holding the churu downward because everything is low, 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 right? Low hand, low churu. I'm holding it this way. Then I start leading the cat up my hip bone into my lap. And you see how I'm holding the churu right against my stomach. I'm actually touching my stomach with the fingers. And I'm, it's nice and low here. So not up here, it's gotta be down here and not out here. You want it right at the stomach. And you're bringing the cat across. And be careful not to, angle. sometimes people think, oh, my hand's low, but then they don't realize they're angling the churu up. If you angle the churu up, the cat will more likely stand instead of walk across your lap. So keep that churu nice and low. And you're going across to the lap. So in fact, if you see my hole, I'm not bringing the cat across this hole, I'm bringing the head across here but the, the feet will naturally fall in the hole just because of the size of the cat. See, and I bring it here. And then when I get to the other end, I start following the contour of my hip. Yep, follow the contour of my hip down to the floor. And usually I, for big cats, I have to bring them all the way here, the head, in order to get that last foot onto my lap. And then the moment just before, you know, the moment they put that last foot on the lap and is in position, but before they uh, jump off, I'll push the true in a little bit. So then the cat will lean backwards with the shoulders and more likely sit down on the, uh, the butt, right? Because just if the head follows the churu, then the cat's going to lean back and then sit down. So it's pretty much going across here and down. Now the size of the cat we're talking about is small, so you probably don't need to go all the way here. You're probably going to only need to come actually up to the hip here, and that'll be enough to get all of her legs into your lap. Another thing to keep in mind is if you are in a 45 inch playpen or later on when you're more advanced, you're doing this in the sofa, you may find that there's a wall behind you and you, you can't get this hand all the way to the hip for, with the churu because your elbow is hitting something. And most people have a tendency to like squish up right here, right? Because they don't know how to, how to do it or they, they don't bring the churu far back enough because they can't reach it. The way that I do it is I actually think of it as your elbow swinging around in an arc. So I bring it and the elbow comes around like this, right? I bring the elbow around. Uh, I'm just gonna hold it high so you can see, but you can bring, you can still hold the churu by shifting it in your hand and you can get in the right position. As I'm bringing the elbow in, as I bring the churu in, right, imagine there's a wall right behind me, this elbow can't go back further, I'm starting to swing the elbow around here. And I'm going to show you a higher view now so you can actually see the elbow itself. So it's coming in and I swing the elbow around. See how much it swings? It can swing to the same depth as my back and I'm just moving this hand in place. This is the same thing. If your legs are extended and you're doing the legs extended work still in the playpen or something and there's something behind you, same thing. You're leading the cat up the legs, right? And then as you get here, I swing that elbow around.